Hi friends, TTB here again. Welcome back to some more MechWarrior Online news. There's an update post on the MechWarrior Online YouTube where Matt goes over the May features update, specifically the skill tree, and he's showing off what they changed based on the feedback they've been getting, for example, from uh, people like me, from the streamers, as well as from you guys directly in the forums. And I want to have a look at that with you together right now. Um, Ammo is now a separate category from Firepower in the mech stats. That's really nice. That will declutter things. Really, really nice. Both in the Crooks and Crooks plus skill selections. Really, the deprivation color has been changed from AMS green to seismic red. Okay, that also makes sense. And then, okay, those colors will show up in the descriptions as well. I would say we just watch the video and uh, pause when we want to have a look at more details slash discuss something. Greetings Mech Warriors, it's Matt from Piranha Games here and I want to give you an update on how things are going for the May patch. Um, in particular, I wanted to update you on how we're integrating all the feedback you guys have given us for the quirks and quirk display as well as some changes will be made to the skill tree and show you some of the final color coding here. All right, so let's dive in and take a look. I think you guys are gonna really like what you see here. So first of all, um, I'm gonna demo this with the blackjack arrow here. I'm gonna select, go to the select mech screen and when I mouse over it, here we have the quirks list. Now I haven't skilled this mech yet, so right now it's just showing quirks at the top, all in white, the base uh, quirks of the mech, and then below there is skills. As you skill up the mech with the skill tree, they will display below there. Now they will run off the page eventually and they will be color coded, but your base quirks will still be there. Beyond that, we integrated your feedback into here. So now we have quirks in the mech stats as a separate item and then quirks and skills what yeah exactly that remember what we what we said uh when we were talking about the new update um where everything was together that was just way too cluttered and i think that just separating it by quirks if you want to have a look at the specific quirks of a mech and then quirks plus skills what your actual full bonus points on those mechs are with your skill tree that's going to be nice and decluttered i think the the color coding is missing here though still what will happen that's probably because we don't have any skill points in there yet as I upgrade this with my skills is that it will combine the quirks and the skills. Anything that receives a bonus from the skills will change color to that actual skill color. And this view is available as well. I do want to point out that that view is available when you're in the mech lab. So it will have your quirks separate and then quirks and skills. You can reference those as you are uh, equipping your mech with various equipment and whatnot. So let's take a look at the skill tree. So here's a first look at some of the changes we've been making based on your feedback. Once again, skill trees, I want to say it's not so much decluttering as reorganizing because it's the same amount of skill points, 91 nodes uh, maximum, as you can see. And um, it's just it's just being ripped apart, right? You can focus more on specific nodes and not take all the other nodes in between with a couple of exceptions and some ideas that we had been working on during the process. So what we've done is we've kept the base color of the skills blue and then anything that is weapon specific, uh, we've assigned it the colors from the mech lab. So purple for ballistics, yellow for energy and green for uh, missile systems. Mm -hmm. uh, we've also adapted some of the other colors. We've added a few uh, AMS overload has this kind of a neon green to it and we've assigned that to any kind of anti-missile system. So missile being green, AMS is now green here as well. Uh, we counter the green tide with more green, because how do you deal with ogres? Bigger ogres, so in this case, more AMS. For the trees that are combined, we wanted to add some slight color variation. And we did that by darkening the speed tweak nodes around the rest of these kinetic burst nodes. So if you want to have more top speed on your mech, you will have to take the kinetic burst nodes, and there are seven of them. That's quite a bit in order to get your mech to the extra, what is that going to be, um, 6%, 7.5% top speed? It's quite a lot. Heartbreak, however, is not, it does not have any kind of uh, requirements, as you can see. Over here, we've got Seismic in red. Uh, because we felt like those were high value nodes and the players would want to know when they have them. So seismic nodes show up in red on the target info gathering so slash seismic sensor tree. And you 
uh, we'll see that same color in the quirks as well. Uh, the reason that you have to actually go through the uh, five nodes of target info gathering before you can get seismic one and two um, is because seismic is viewed as a high value skill node and they didn't just want to give it away for free so to speak so you have to invest five plus two points to get seismic one and two um but with a loadout like this i would probably always recommend to get seismic one and two it's just such a really nice thing to keep you alive and target info gathering right here guys don't dismiss that that is what um 35 percent faster target info gathering you get information about your enemy mech and see where it's damaged so you can shoot at the proper spots don't underestimate that. That's a good combination. Redder deprivation. We feel like that's more like an anti-missile system, denying the, the enemy radar locks. Uh, so we grouped it with the same color as AMS. And then as well, uh, ECM. You can't... We'll have to take sensor range, by the way, to get Radar Derp. So Radar Derp is also considered high value, and it's hidden behind sensor range. And enhanced ECM is on part of that tree as well. Um, I'm I'm not sure whether I, I agree with enhanced ECM being part of that because ECM only works on ECM max, whereas seismic and radar derp works on R max. So in my opinion, those enhanced ECM nodes, personal opinion, those enhanced ECM nodes should be their own thing, like advanced zoom. Can't see it on here because I don't have an ECM mech, but I will demo that after this. Two clicks, no ECM more. is actually an orange. Because that's what the ECM system colors are. Enhanced narc is green because it complements missile systems. Especially since enhanced narc is something you can just take. But enhanced ECM requires you to go deep into a tree. You know, I think that's 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 the one thing I would say, the one glaring criticism I would have at this point in time. Um, but everything else is looking better. And then finally we've made uh, consumable slots a purple. Now a couple other improvements I really want to point out here is that we've really been testing and iterating on all of the uh, the way you interact with the skill tree system you can you know obviously select these nodes um, much better than before buy, much better oh, than let before me buy some skill points here just crank it up for the purpose of demoing yeah easy 9000 gsp super easy apply the changes so as you notice these radar deprivation are uh green here so i'm gonna quickly go into this mouse over you can see sensor range 35 and radar deprivation plus 40% in green on there. And then the same reflected in the max stats as well. Sensor range and radar deprivation. Again, you can just see separated quirks and then quirks plus skills gives you a compiled list of all the bonuses that your mech has from your the mech quirks and the skill tree system. Another thing I wanted to show you here is as I mouse over this node, it shows me that that's the only one I'm going to be buying a skill point for because the rest of these are okay. I'm going to unlock or I'm going to unequip all those. The mouse over here for these, it shows the re equip icon. Re equip icon is that little like white arrow. And then if it has an SP icon, means skill point. That's the one that you would have to buy a skill point for. For this last one, it shows a skill point icon. So it's a lot more informative. This becomes re equip, this becomes a skill point icon. Skill what I would recommend, by the way, for these videos, Matt, if you're watching this, um, try and get this in, into full screen. That makes it a little bit easier to read. I know that's, that's in the window right now, but if it's possible to either go full screen or at least full window, that would be easier to read. Or in post edit, just take it and make it bigger. Kill point. So maxing out your trees is a lot easier, a lot more visually pleasing, and a lot more informative. Right here, this indicates four skill points from top to bottom here as well you have the same thing i'm going to apply these changes and then take a look at the it's remote desktop yeah that's what i thought mech apologies my computer is loading very very slowly here extra consumable slot plus four uav nodes in blue uh, from the auxiliary systems sensor range here so i'm going to go back to the skills grab a couple other ones i'll show you what seismic looks like I'll show you all basically the color variations that we have well i guess seismic is going to be red skills also apparently adobe, like. <laughs> adobe creative cloud skills wants to get updated so you can see the colorization uh, i'm going to grab these laser nodes here 
the thing I really want you to, to see is how um, obvious it is what it is I'm getting and what I'm spending. I'm gonna apply these changes. So again, this build is a little bit uh, slow simply because I'm running it across remote desktop. Roll over, as you can see, um, basically. That's saying that we had a real challenge picking colors that look good and made sense. I think they make sense. I think they make sense. I don't know if you said it, but the, the, the only criticism I have right now from the skill tree is that I feel that ECM should be its own thing. Um, reason being that you only have ECM on ECM capable Macs, other than that, um, no other Mac benefits from selecting ECM, right? So that's that's the only thing, but I mean, maybe that's a balancing issue. I don't know. They've scrolled right off the page here. Um, Too many crooks. Over. You can see the fact <laughs> that yes, you've skilled this Mac, but it says check Mac stats for complete list. And this is the Mac stats. So here we are, quirks of the Mac. You can always check that. Valuable source of information of what the base quirks are. And then quirks and skills compiles everything, everything you want to know into one list of what all the and what, how I understand it is that in a secondary iteration after this video was made, the ammo stuff was also put together into one spot, right? So uh, that way it it makes it more easy to see what's just like affecting your weapons and then just the ammo stuff that would be in between right now because it's just it's just a giant blob right now um, that would be somewhere else as well. That's what the images we saw before we looked at the video. Yeah, yeah. Okay, perfect bonuses are another thing to point out is yes uh, this does also carry over into your mech lab so you can very easily access just the base quirks while you're loading out your mech and you know I'm, I'm i'm really sad that um a lot of people that have been playing this game over the years will not be able to enjoy like these little quality of life changes because they've stopped playing i really hope that people will see videos like that will get re-engaged by pgi's email campaigns or maybe see youtube videos of people talking about it and come back to the game because as i keep saying guys, it's the best time to be playing this game even though with all the problems that we're still having progress and progress is good and then as well see the quirks and the skills at the same time so you understand what quirks are being applied uh, you can see on the the assassin here it's got purple yellow green for missiles and then the neon green for the ams and then orange for ecm that's the color the nodes would be in the skill tree here show you that color makes it really really obvious oh yeah another thing to point out is that uh this tree was changed based on your feedback that the cauldron listened to you and said hey we've got a feedback that the players are giving us um we think the sensor range ECM and radar tree should be arranged in this way so people can start getting that radar deprivation right away rather than being like right at the base. So we took that information and uh, added it. So I, I, I still think ECM should be its own thing. I, I still think ECM should be its own thing because if you have an ECM mech, I mean, let's, let's, let's be real. Nobody, nobody that has two brain cells uses a mech that uses ECM without the ECM skills. So... That that thing I think could be its own thing, because the thing is, if you have ECM, you don't necessarily want radar deprivation, right? So you're getting sensor range, you're getting radar derp, but you don't necessarily need it. So that's the only iffy thing. I understand it for seismic because seismic is strong and seismic works on any Mac, but ECM enhanced only works on ECM Macs, right? Matt saying it may end up that way someday. All right, fingers crossed. I mean, that's 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 the only piece of feedback I have. Otherwise, I'm really liking what I'm seeing. I, I like the first iteration. And I'm really glad that you guys went in and said, you know what, we talked to the players, we talked to the, the creators, we talked to the cauldron, and this is the feedback we got, and we jumped back into it. And that deserves mad props that you guys were able to just, like that, do some changes. So here we are, mech stats. You can see um, target range reduction plus 45%. Uh, one of the things we are talking about, based on your feedback as well, once we get this skill tree, new skill tree set up, um, and rolled out um, we really want to take a look at the uh, the values of the nodes within the tree and make yeah. sure yeah. every um, group has a good trade-off or a good reason to actually have it or use it so we'll be tuning values beyond the release of the actual skill tree but I think it's really really great uh, all the feedback you guys have provided um, we spent a considerable amount of time diving back in looking at you know what we could do what your desires were as players uh, to display the quirks, to see the quirks and the skills. Um, and I think it's, you know, 
the best uh, option that we've had here. And with that, uh, I just wanted to say thank you very much for all your feedback. We're super stoked to release this to you guys. Get it in your hands. Can't wait for uh, you guys to play with this. Uh, we got some really other exciting stuff planned for that release. May is going to be a huge month. Uh, a lot of stuff coming out in May. The events, uh, event queue uh, is looking like it's going to line up for May as well. Uh, the new map that Francois is working on. Um, tell all your friends to come back and check it out. Anyone who didn't like the skill tree previously, I think it's going to be a lot easier to use, a lot easier to understand. The grind reduction. Come back to the game. And uh, yeah, some other cool things planned for the May release. So, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. It's Matt signing off. Well, thanks, Matt, for the updates. Um... Really like that you guys are able to communicate a little bit more now. Uh, the communication with the dev team at PGI has died down a little bit over the past couple of months, and uh, I'm really glad to see that this is going back up again, and I'm glad to see where this is taking us. So, um, lots of exciting changes that are happening with the skill tree and with the display of the skills. Uh, I'm ha really happy with that, and if you guys are happy as well, Put your comments down into the comments. And if you want to support me in doing my work, if you want to support my full-time work, guys, then check out either the join button right here on YouTube to become a channel member, get some exclusive rewards, or check out the various options. As you know, they are hiding in the video description below. This has been TTB. Uh, go watch the next video because it's going to be about the current sale that's going on in MWO. So don't miss that if you want to save a couple of bucks slash MC.